How's it going everybody? It is Matt here and I hope you are all well and doing splendid. This is the next tutorial in the series that, by the way, I've started a show on my channel for these um, Adobe After Effects tutorials. I'll put the link in the top of the description for you to go and check that out and you can subscribe to that also but if you're already subscribed to my channel then it doesn't really matter but you can make sure that you don't miss them for show sure because I know that the um, the subscription boxes are being really weird at the moment so yeah um, so right let's get into this um, this tutorial is going to be based on the book idea that I did in the last edit as you can see on the screen right now there's a few things that are important about this which I'll go over and yeah so I'll just quickly show you because if you've not seen this video then you won't know but I'll just quickly play a little bit of this so you can see what I'm getting at here So that is that and if we go back and just quickly look over this there's a few important things so the first one that is obvious is the page needs to be stuck to the book as if it were actually a page so it can't just be I mean I, when I was trying to think of doing this you know green screen through went through my head and you know it, it, a green screen just wouldn't work obviously because the page would just be flat the page needs to look not flat like it's bent with the book um so yeah that's the first main thing and as you can see it's like kind of rippling and the page is kind of looking like it, it is actually a page so the next thing is the page turning as you can see and again we've got the the bend in the page there and the other side of the page coming over here as it would if you were to um, open a page or a book or, or whatever so yeah they're the two main important things that you, you like, need to achieve with this so I guess we can get straight into this and I will show you how to do this so Adobe After Effects as you may have already guessed and it's CS5 I believe you can do what I'm doing with CS3 and CS4 I could be wrong if I'm wrong leave a comment on you know if if something doesn't work the same and I will try my best to answer those comments so new composition we meet again comp name main call it whatever you like 1280 720 25 FPS what I like to work with you can work with whatever you like again though so okay and there we go so first of all we need a a book and a background so I have some things prepared already as you can see here you can I mean in the video I did I used my camera and I took a picture of my Modern Warfare 2 I think it's Modern Warfare 2 yeah Modern Warfare 2 book and I just yeah I use that so you know you can use whatever you like but I'm just using these for these this tutorial purpose so we need a book there's our book, we'll just scale that out a little bit and if you hold a shift and control while you're doing this it will keep it to scale instead of it you know going all like that and out of shape just control and shift and it will yeah keep it to scale so we'll just scale that up a little bit like that and oh I also apologize I'm still you know I'm still not very good at these so you know, you're going to have to bear with me guys, I'm, you know, I'm a bad commentator, just deal with it. There's the background I just put in by the way, just a sky image, as you can see there, just a sky image. So, that's that. Now, for the sakes of the tutorial purposes, you, instead of masking all around here and getting it absolutely perfect, which is what I would probably normally do with this, but, um just to get it you know to my standard as it were we're just gonna quickly do a color key on this just to speed things up a little bit on this white here we'll just turn the color tolerance up a little bit just edge thin it by one just a tiny little feather it doesn't really matter but yeah so 
you know, I mean, yeah, obviously, I mean, just mask it or you can even take it into Photoshop and, you know, you can do whatever you like there and bring it in. So that's that. Oh, also, I might like cut here and there as I'm doing this, but I'm not missing anything out. It's just that I've screwed up and I'm like, I don't, I don't think I can do this in one whole take basically because I don't know how long this is going to be, but I don't want to like try and get it in one take because it just take me ages because I'm so bad at these. So yeah. So if you, if you sense a cut in the, in the video, I've not missed anything out. I've just screwed up and I've gone back to do it again. So yeah. So what we need to do now is we need to pre-compose these, just get the book into a composition and the BG into a composition, composition we'll call it BG. And what we need now is a page for this book. And so what we are going to do, we're going to go to new composition and we will call this page un or one in English. And then if we go into import file, we'll just get a paper texture, which again, I have already come prepared. It's like Art Attack, isn't it? And oh, a lot of people say I sound like the guy off Art Attack, actually. That's really weird, because I don't think I do, but... Just over the edge of a large piece of cardboard box card. See that? Just over the edge, and then... Draw okay, and there's the page texture. So. You can put whatever you like on this page, obviously. Um, for now, I will just put a few, like, just a few things like this. Um, and you've got to kind of remember, like, the, the middle of the page would be about, well, be in the middle. So, yeah, just bear that in mind with this. And what we will do is we will duplicate that and just bring it down. Sell that up. Again, we'll duplicate it. Just scale that. And then we'll just duplicate them over to the other side. What I'm doing here, by the way, is just selecting the masks. Selecting them, Control D, and it'll duplicate them. Then double click on the new ones and just move them over, which I just shift and arrow keyed them then. And I'll just make it look a little bit different so I can show you how this works later on. Just put the two there like that. And we'll just put a little bit of text on this side. So this is the right side. And just quickly sort that out. Sorry. Come on. We'll just space them out. Okay, there we go. So that's the right side and then obviously the left side, but we'll leave that. So that's the right side. So again, you can use whatever you like. If you were to create a cartoon style thing, you know, maybe you created some cartoon type pictures in Photoshop and you can just bring them, whack them straight on into After Effects and insert them into this pre-composition. So if we go back into the main composition now and we will bring our, what did we call it again? We called it page one, page one into there. No.